Hello everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get more free eSIM data, but this one comes with some perks. So this one will give you a number, some minutes, and messages. So 250 minutes, 250 texts, and uh, 250 megabytes of data. So yes, I am using light mode. I had to reset my phone and I just decided to chill with light mode for a little bit because it's honestly kind of different. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up this app. So what you're gonna wanna do is on your iPhone XS or higher, or an Android, this does work with Android, but it has to be compatible with eSIM. First, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go to your App Store or Google Play Store, depending on which device you have, and install this app, Mint Mobile. So you've probably heard about this wireless carrier. They are an MVMO, and you've probably heard them in about a YouTube ad or maybe online somewhere. They have a whole bunch of ads everywhere, but they offer a try before you buy. So that is where you're going to get that seven day trial of 250 megabytes, 250 minutes, and 250 texts. So if you click try before you buy, get excited, your phone's eSIM compatible. So you can scroll through these if you want. Uh, it's basically just explaining that it won't affect your service or anything. And uh, yeah, so we're all good there. And then we're going to go ahead and do continue with eSIM. Now let's get you a number. So this number will be temporary, or if you actually decide to buy a plan with Mint Mobile, then you can keep that, or you can get another new phone number. So you can do automatic zip code recognition, or enter your zip code manually. I'm going to go ahead and proceed with the automatic. After that, you're just gonna click continue, and then you're going to need to fill out this form with your details. Okay, and that took less than 30 seconds to fill out. Now, credit card info, uh, no, they will not charge you. Your card is only used to validate you as a new customer, and that is true. They're never going to charge you unless you get a plan or do something that involves a charge. So you're going to go ahead and want to enter that. Um, it does not have to, if you're not comfortable with putting in your real credit card or debit card information, uh, there are some things you can try, like on free online credit card generators, um, or you can just get a burner card, or maybe an expired card. You can ask a parent, a guardian, a grandparent, depending on your age. Uh, to yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fill mine out and then get back. So you can just go ahead and click order now, and they will process your order. This process seems to be taking a bit longer than I expected, but uh, just keep being patient and uh, it may depend on your internet connection as well, which mine is stable and strong and very fast. So not sure why it's taking a while. My first payment method did get declined for some odd reason, which makes no sense because I use it all the time, but sometimes you just have to try a different one. And I tried a different one and it seems like it's actually processing now. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it process and then see what happens. Alrighty everyone, so I've waited a couple of hours because nothing was working right and it just kept saying air, but uh, after I waited a couple of hours, I restarted the phone, restarted, you know, the Mint Mobile app. I think the phone restart helped, but your activation was successful, now let's install your eSIM. This needs to happen before you can start using your plan, so step one is you, oh my god, I'm talking fast. Step one, you have to activate your plan, which we already did, and then step two, we're just going to go ahead and install our eSIM. So, we're going to go ahead and click continue. Uh, if you're familiar with eSIM, then you should already know how to do this, but we need to install it before we can use it, obviously. Um, so let's go ahead and click install eSIM. It will give you this prompt to install your cellular plan. Go ahead and click continue. Then you will get add cellular plan, add it. And then you're gonna wanna create labels. Now my phone number is, actually, you know what? You guys can have this phone number because it's not gonna last very long ever. Anyways, talk to me if you want. But cellular plan labels, choose labels for each of your cellular plans. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it the way it is. Default line, I'm going to use my primary one. I message and FaceTime. I'm just going to go ahead and not click anything because I don't want to mess anything up. And then I'm going to go ahead and click secondary, which will be our Mint Mobile. Yep. And I'm going to go ahead and allow cellular data switching. I just got this text. Continue. My new Mint number. All right. Your eSIM has been successfully installed, so we're going to go ahead and click start. Oops, something went wrong, whatever, I have the service, so it's fine. Alright, Mint LTE, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to my cellular data settings, just to see here. Okay, secondary, I'm going to go ahead and do 5G on, data mode, 
a lot more data on 5G. Now this is mainly the options for the iPhone 12 Pro Max since it's the first iPhone ever to have 5G. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go outside and do a test. I'm gonna go ahead and do data roaming just in case they can't charge me. And um, actually, you know what? Let's just do a quick test on their LTE. So let's go ahead and do this. I don't think this is the right test. All right, so I just turned off my Verizon line altogether. Um, now let's go ahead and do a 5G speed test. My Verizon is throttled, so. And as you can see, we are getting those nice 5G speeds. 39 megabits, 40 almost. Now keep in mind, I am inside a building. And our uploads. It's a little harsh, but it's still free eSIM data. Alrighty, and just like that, here are our, our here are our final results. So thank you guys so much for joining this video. Uh, if you liked it, um, great. Subscribe. That would be great. I'm really trying to hit that 1,000. I started this channel in late 2014, and I've been trying to hit a thousand since then and I appreciate every single new subscriber. I always take a look at their channels. I always, you know, comment on a couple of their videos if they have some. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for joining and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.